home, sir. Hmm? Yes, we'll be in by tea if you don't hit it. Keep on the same course, Ronnie. Right. What's the weather like, Coxon? Well, so-so-so. Yeah. Well, a pleasure cruise over number one. Yes, sir. Can I give you a hand, sir? Thanks. Now, what are you doing, Mr. Lee, sir? Well, it depends on the bank balance. You, uh, do you believe, Coxon? Yes, sir. We've got a wedding in our family. The T.I. is getting spliced to my sister. Really? Yeah. Well, it's fine. Don't forget my piece of cake. Okay, sir. Is that written up? Yes, sir. Yeah, Try and get the salt out of these. Leave it to me, Swain. Well, it's got to be faced. One of us has got a Mrs. Leave. What's that? Oh, hello, Dickie. We were just talking about Arnold going sick. This was his turn to stay behind this time. Yeah. You weren't thinking of taking his place, were you? Who, me? You. Not at all. But somebody's got to stay behind. I know that. Having tonsils at your age. Why didn't you have love when you were a kid? My mother didn't believe in it, sir. Yeah, well, we've got to fix this. Now, let's see. You're already staying behind, aren't you, Nobby? Yes. How about Tiggy? He doesn't mind missing his leave. Oh, and what about the T.I. here? And yourself, Cox? Now, you know as well as I do that Mike's getting married this leave. Unless he happens to be marrying my sister. Oh, you two in this wedding. This is the third time it's cropped up. Well, it's just not my fault that something always happens to interfere. Yes, well, nothing's going to interfere this time. That's right, Cox. And get them all tied up. Shut the hatch. Plug the boat. You're done for this time, T.I. Who asked you to butt in, Hobson? I'd like to take a look at the petty officers now and again. It's good for discipline. I wish he was one himself. I'd have put him down for this. Don't you take any notice of him, Mike. Just because he's mucked up his own life, you get your doodads. I'll put Williams down for this job. And you can lump it. Yeah, but we ain't all got your sex appeal, Canada. Ah, oh, cheesy. Anybody can pick up a dame outside the factory. Sit still, jellyfish. I've had a nice piece of homework myself last leave. Works in a fake shop. Well, at least you ought to be good for a packet of Trenta, then. I suppose you'll be seeing the wife. What? I was talking to Dusty. Huh, she'll be parked outside the dock gates now. Can't get a female under 40 in my village. Why not, Oxford? The poles have billeted there. <laughs> <laughs> you mugs make me sick. Nothing else to think about a leave but females, smart dames, homework. With all the ugly fizzogs we're packed with here, what can you expect? You're safe enough, Spud. The women won't worry you. And why not? You've got no brass. Time you settle all your fancy bets on this trip, you won't have any dough left. I don't need money to enjoy my leave. You wouldn't need much anyway. I'd do it if it'll be more than 48 hours. You'd like to bet on that? I'm not betting, man, but didn't he bargain in more than 48 hours? Oh, oh go for it. Go and jump in your own oh, tank. Stand off, Coxon. <laughs> Stand of attention on the casing. <coughs> Slow stern starboard. Slow stern starboard, sir. Hello, Freddy. A nice, quiet trip? Yes, worse luck. I see you've sunk another couple of fishing smacks. Yes, just a 10,000 tonner and a 4,000. What the hell do you work with, oh, Moore's Almanac? No luck again? Trade not, sir. Uh, any defects? No, sir. Crew all right? Just one case of tonsil, sir. Very well. The usual notice for sea. We give leave to one watch. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Gordon. Sir? You going to the wardroom? Yes, sir. Forget me, Grover, no 2777, will you? Yes, sir. By the way, who are you seeing this leave? Your Aunt Margaret again? <laughs> I can't risk it, sir. Her husband's on leave. <laughs> no one for you? 
be for the skipper? Wild violets, jasmine, fish and chips. Fish and chips. Hello, Freddie. Have a drink. Pink gin, please. Hello, sir. Hello, skipper. Nice trip. Very boring. Uh, Good shave. Yes, I'm using a cutthroat. Uh -huh. Your call, sir. Uh, thanks. Two pink gins, please. I'll bring them back. Please. That you, Drake? Now, how's the guy? Good. How's the old man? Good. How's the bank balance? Oh. Oh, well, I'll have to manage on my pay. Now, listen carefully, Drake. I want you to ring Miss Seymour. Yes. And make a date for lunch tomorrow. Yeah. Get a four-pound box of chocolates. Four-pound box of... There is a war on, you know, sir. Is there? I haven't seen much of it lately. Well, use your influence, Drake. Yes. Book two seats at the Hippodrome in the evening and table at the grill afterwards. Yeah, now Tuesday. Miss, um, Carter. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, Miss, uh, Miss Davis, I think. No, no, um, uh, hang on, Drake. Um, Make your mind up, Freddie. Uh, that'll be all for the present, Drake. I'll, uh, fix the rest with you tomorrow. Yeah, goodbye. If you two baboons had even the elementary instincts of gentlemen, <coughs> you'd, uh, That's a nasty cough you've got, T.I.? Yes, sir. Uh, no, sir. Uh, something you want to see me about? I want to see Lieutenant Brace, sir. I'm afraid he's not here. Anything I can do? Oh, well, uh... Well, what is it? Well, it's about Petty Officer Arnold's leave, sir. See, somebody's got to stay and take his place. Yes, I think it's arranged uh, William stays. Uh, yes, sir. Well, that's just it. You see, it's very hard on poor William, sir, with his domestic troubles, sir, and his two youngest in hospital, sir. Well, Williams isn't married, is he? Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. How else did he have two youngest, sir? You're not offering to forego your own leave by any chance, are you? Uh, yes, sir. But I thought you were getting married. What's the matter, T.I.? Cold feet? Oh, no, sir. There isn't a nicer girl in London, sir. It's just this... I think a man shouldn't rush at matrimony, like. Oh, I quite agree, yes. I think I'd like just to think it over a bit longer, sir, if you know what I mean. Very well, T.I. I'll fix it. Thank you, sir. Oh, T.I., uh, tell Hobson I want to see him in my cabin, will you? Come in. Oh, it's you, Hobson. Come in. I, uh, wanted to have a little talk with you unofficially. Cigarette? No, thanks, sir. You know, I've often wondered about you, Hobson. Why, you haven't gone a little higher in the service. I mean, you've knocked about the world a bit, and you speak a couple of languages, and, well, I... It seems a pity, really, that a man like you should mess up his life just because... Look here, Hobson, I've had a letter from your brother-in-law. I think the best thing I can do is to hand it to you. I don't have to read that to know what's in it. It's about your wife. She wants a separation. Why can't he stick to his fish and chips and keep out of my business? Yes, I'm, uh, inclined to agree with you. I don't like the sound of your brother-in-law. On the other hand, you can, uh, hardly blame him if your wife... He's always trying to separate us. Never out of the house the whole time I'm at sea. Hmm. Why'd you give him so much leeway? Appears you, uh, went home tight again on your last leave. <laughs> Made the most of that, I'm sure. See, cause of the deadly sin. Anyway, uh, if I were you, I'd, um... Uh, Try and get home sober this time. You never know, your wife will probably... Never join the band of hope to please any of him singing fish and chip fryer. My wife wants a separation, she can have it. Is that what you really want me to say? Yes, sir. Anything else, sir? No. That's all, Hobson. That's Mike, isn't it? Speak to me, Paul. Speak from your heaven. Oh, well, it only goes to show. Yes, they always say that the happiest day of a man's life is the day before he gets married. Yeah, that's right. What do you mean the day before? 
Your marriage is the finest thing in the world for a steady fellow like Mike Corrigan. Especially when he's going to marry a steady girl like our Ethel. Then why haven't you tried it yourself sometimes, Swain? Well, uh, well, that's different to... Yeah, yeah, Mike! 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 Your name's down on this duty list to stay behind. No! It is, I tell you. Here, Williams, come here. You were fixed to do this duty. Well, you're going to do it. My name is not on that list, is it? That's beside the point. Well, yeah? that's good enough for me. Yeah, but... There must be a mistake. There's no mistake. Look, you can see for yourself. It's there, all right. But I can't believe it. Everybody knows I was going to get married tomorrow. I've got enemies in this ship. That's what it is. Well, something's got to be done about it. Ah, what's the use? An order's an order. Every time we try to fix something up, something happens to spoil it. Mm. We're powerless, Dickie. Play things in the hands of an unseen fate. That's what we are. Yeah, well... Play things with foot. Anyway, don't you worry. I'll fix it. I'll see to that. But Dickie, I... <coughs> That's pretty wicked tobacco you smoke. Said, what is it? Carpet slippers or something? Well, Jock, you were right about the leave. 48 hours. Aye, this is a set. It's not one going ashore for. That's right. I knew you wouldn't mind staying behind. No, but it... Stayed behind? Yeah, I'll put you down in Arnold's place. I knew you wouldn't mind. Nothing of the sort. 48 hours and one hour. I'm entitled to my leave with a minute. Now, Jock, Jock, I wouldn't ask you this. to do something for nothing. Mike, I fixed it. Jock's volunteered to take the place. Come on, there's a boat just leaving. I can't go like this. I, I haven't got my kit. That's all right. Tug's looking after it. Come on, hurry. <laughs> Have a good time, Mr. Coxon, but keep up the beer. <laughs> Lucky for you, you didn't take that bet with me, Spud. What bet? About the leave being 48 hours. Lucky, did you say? It's the only bet out of one on the whole trip. Don't be balmy. Balmy? Hey, Tug, how long is this leave? Seven days. Seven? Seven? <laughs> That'll be enough for that, sir. Watch me old Gladys. Uh, oh, <coughs> excuse me. Have you any cigarettes? Oh, no, thank you. Hello, Ethel. Dickie. Look what I've brought you. Hello, Mike. Hello, Ethel. Put that light out. Good morning, Mr. Metcalf. Good morning. Fish and chips for dinner? That's right, Miss Hobson. It's no use knocking. She's gone. Gone? To the shop? Aye, over a week ago. Here's a present for you. For me? Hello, Miss Hobson. Here you are, son. There's a football for you. Oh, well, sir, the Sunday morning is the only time we have free now, except for a slight gap after tea on Wednesday. Oh, we must remedy that, nothing we, Drake? No, uh, you're trying to pick a fight with me, Rudolph. Now, listen, Drake, this is important. Uh, when Miss Lake calls, here, Miss Lake, have her put through here right away, will you? Right. Uh, I wish I could get the same kind of kick out of life that some of you fellows get. Yeah, seven days leave, sir, if you know what that means. Just started, eh? I have. Army? Navy. Ah. Oh. Hello, my darling. How are you? Wonderful to hear from you again. Is it Freddy? Oh, that's very sweet of you. This is Browning, depot ship here. Bad news, I'm afraid, old man. Order from Captain S. Report back at once. Of course I'm not joking. 
Yes, sir. As I recall, this is the Sea Tiger detergent. Get busy on it right away. Yes, sir. Now, how do I know, old man? Probably want you to make up a forward bridge. Now, listen. There's a train leaving London at 2.15 that makes a connection of... All right, all right. You can look it up yourself, then. But you've got to be back here by 9 o'clock at the latest. Right. Mr. Yes, I'm finished. Very first day of my leave. First I've had for months. What's the trouble? Leave cancelled. Just like that. After all the trouble I've gone to, all those dates I've fixed, everything blown sky high. Troubles at the top. Silly old jossers who couldn't run a regatta. Spend all their time giving orders one day for the sake of cancelling them the next. Quite right, my boy. I've had to fight against that sort of thing all my life. Goodbye. Now look here, Dusty, my boy. This slate ain't elastic, you know. Ah, but it will stretch till next Saturday, won't it, Gov? I've got a trouble coming up then, and it's a stone certainty. You're telling me. Ah, here comes old Slim. He's always good for a dollar. You watch me tap him. Hello, me old Slim. You're just in time. I'm in the chair, and you're to find it the very best. Oh, thanks, Dusty. I'm glad I found it here. And you, Flunky. Well, all the best. Uh, Slim, old man, we was just saying... I've got some bad news for you. You report to the ship immediately. Oh. <laughs> and you. Oh. <laughs> Both of you. What is this, a joke? It's no joke, it's an order. You're sailing tonight, so get a move on. But, Slim... Always good for a dollar, eh? Hello, customers. Hello, you old grease spot. Still flying the same old dogfish. <laughs> what have you come for? I've come for my wife, that's what. But well, she doesn't want to see you. That's for her to say. She's out. All right, all right, I can wait. In the meantime, I have a few chosen words for you, my lad. OK, Hobson, don't make a scene. Can't you see I'm busy, all these customers? OK, Sid, OK, I'll give you a hand. Don't bother. No bother at all. What's yours, missus? A six penny and two pennies. I brought me paper. Yeah, that's the stuff. Service, that's what I like. Service. Here, this Here. is good for the brain. Aye. Yeah, hey, looks as if you could do with an extra bit, lass. <laughs> Here you are, dumps the lot. E. Hey, Jack, two fish and four chips. Service and civility, that's my motto. Service and hey, civility. Hey, hey. Now, look here, Hobson. Here you are. Oh, ten to one. Penny back for you. Now, who's next? What about you, young lady? Doesn't matter. Have you got all you want? Here, come on, sailor, serve me. Hello, Daddy. Hello, son. I've come to take you home, Pete. What do you think of that? Have you been in your submarine? Have I been in my submarine? Hey, three six pennies, Mr. Better than that. I brought it home for you. Here. What do you think of that? Mmm, Daddy. Go back in the kitchen, Peter. There's a good lad. Fish and two pennies of chips. Alex, just a minute. I'm on my seven days. I thought perhaps we might. Oh, Jim. Couldn't you come home sober just for once? It was the same last time, you know. Why won't you go to our house? Look here, Robson, why don't you go? Yeah, you keep out of this. You're coming home with me, both of you. Do you understand? Don't you know when you're not wanted? You greasy old hypocrite. You've always tried to separate us, haven't you? Been the same from the very first day we were married. No, I You've always tried to no, do it, haven't you? you? Always from the first day. Oh, You've always been trying to do it. Leave me alone. 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 He started it, didn't he, Mr. Briggs? Did, 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 did. Quite right, he did, Mr. Briggs. You don't waste much time, do you? Are you leading Seaman James Upson? I am. You'll come back to the station with me, then. Can't a chap come to see his wife and kid without being run in? <laughs> it's a railway station I'm talking about. You've got to get back to your ship. So if there's anybody you want to say goodbye to, better be sharp. There's nobody here wants anything of me. Come on. Yeah. 
Time you and Tug got along to the church. Go on, we've half an hour yet. There's no hurry. No, sure, there's no hurry. What do you mean, there's no hurry? Plenty of blokes would like to change places with you, Mike. Now, look here, Charlie. He won a fair and square, so that's that. Sure. Just pip me on the post, didn't you? <laughs> well, there's still hope. Old Tug here might lose the ring. Mm -hmm. Never catch me losing nothing. No? What about that little lady you brought here from the fag shop? Well, what about her? You uh, didn't see the coxswain going in the scullery, did you? No, I... Mind you, don't burn them pretty fingers. <laughs> You're getting in my way, Mr. Dare. Oh, come off it. You know you've got me up, line and sinker? Come in, Ducky. What do they call you? I've told you, Miss Harcourt. Oh, blimey, I can't keep on calling you Miss Harcourt. It sounds balmy. Of course it does. Think of having love to Miss Harcourt tattooed right across his chest. <laughs> Sissy, <laughs> has the beer gone already? Now, Dickie, I'm only trying to be helpful. Helpful, you square it in. So that's what he does, does he? has girls' names tattooed all over him. Well, I wouldn't say all over him, but he's got a few. Hey, Dickie, go on, show that one on your wrist, go on. I'll show you something at the end of my wrist, you square. Uh, uh, now, Dickie, Listen, I'm Miss... only trying to be helpful. Miss Arcourt, I can assure you he's the biggest... <gasps> That'll be her coming down. Well, Ethel, you look fine in that uh, has. I never felt so nervous in all my life. Have a glass of port ducks. Buck you up. Thanks. Oh, Ethel, I do believe in this light. How awful it's green. Come, we ain't superstitions here. I was just reading your congratulations when you came down. Ethel, one here for you. A long and happy married life to both. And don't forget to name the first one after me. Auntie May. <laughs> She's decided what it's going to be. Best wishes, and don't forget to name the first one after your Uncle Fred. Looks like you've got to have twins, Micah. Torpedo gunner's mate, M. Corrington. Return to ship at once. Sailing tonight. Catch train at... It's a recall. He's... sounds like us. Let me have a look. There's one here for you, Dickie. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a recall, all right. Now, isn't that just my luck? Oh, there must be some mistake. No, there's no mistake. There nearly was. What do you mean, Ethel? Gave yourself away, didn't you, Mike? What are you getting at? It's not Mike's fault we've been recalled. Mike knows. Don't you, Mike? But Ethel... But you can't do it. What's the matter with her, man? I don't talk. What was that? I don't understand. What did you mean by gave yourself away? I don't know. You didn't by any chance get somebody to send these telegrams, did you? What, me? Do a thing like that? Yeah. No, no, they're genuine, all right. Well, boys, you better be going. England expects you now. Oh, you're in a terrible hurry to get rid of us, aren't you? No, no, no offence, no offence, Mike. We've all got to do our bit. You and your sub and me and my reserved occupation. It's submarine, twerp. Get your kit, Mike. Andrew Wilson. What for? There's no recall for me, Dickie. You don't expect it to come here, do you? Come on, get a move on. And not so much of the Dickie. You're under the coxswain's orders from now. Oh, all right, all right. Off it. Well, I'll be seeing you. Come on, Mike. We can't hang about here all night. Now, Laura, we handsome there. Oh, let it come. All right.
Engine room old prison chief? Aye. Have you had a bonny leave, Mr. Coxon? For myself, I wouldn't have thought it was worth going ashore for. Leave? I nearly ran into myself coming back. Well, are you satisfied now? What do you mean? You accused me of sending those telegrams. Oh, I said there was something fishy about it. Well, how do you think I feel about it? I'll fix it up with her on my next leave. You see if I don't. You expect to find her waiting for you, sitting on the doorstep when you get back? <laughs> the lot you know about us dabs. Okay for grub, old pan fry? No, okay, swipe. Okay. Our engine room all right, Coxon? Yes, sir. We filled up with three from spare crew. Yeah. Oh, uh, you couldn't tell us where we're going, Swain, could you? No, I could not. Secret orders to be confided to nobody below the rank of Coxon. They'll expect somebody below the rank of Coxon to carry them out, sir. All hands on board, sir. Very good. Excuse me, sir. I, uh, I suppose you haven't got any idea where we are going. Afraid not, Coxon. It looks like something hush hush. Yes, sir. Well, you ought to have a more interesting time this trip, Taylor. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Sure, David. Sure, yeah. And if you bring it off, I'll send you a scotch. Make it a double and it's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. All right. I hope I do have to buy that double, sir. I hope so. Thank you, Carl. Aye, sir. All set? Ready to see, sir. Let go, forward. Let go, you forward spring. Let go, up. Slow stand, starboard. Slow stand, starboard, sir. Go ahead, port. Maybe die to trim, sir. In just a minute, number one. I want to talk to the crew. Do you hear there? Do you hear there? Stand by for the captain. It's the captain speaking. Well, as you've probably guessed, it's a special job this time. And what's more, it's not a long one. In fact, we're due to be back in four or five days. We hope. The Admiralty has learnt that the new German battleship, the Brandenburg, is about to leave Bremerhaven for her trials in the Baltic. To get to the Baltic, the Brandenburg will have to pass through the Kiel Canal. And to get to the canal, she'll have to hug the coast past Cuxhaven and into the Elbe. We are expected to intercept and sink her. Now, there's only one thing more, and I hope you're listening in the engine room. We must be in the Heligoland Bight within 48 hours at the most. So we shall need every ounce of speed we can get. Do you hear that, you leashy beggars? This also means we must risk sticking on the surface as much as we can, even in daylight. So every one of us must be right on his toes every moment he's on duty. That's all. Spotted plane approaching. Looked like one of ours. We have dived at once.
No wonder they're cutting dog racing. Sparker says imminent transmission getting louder. We're in the danger zone all right now. Oh, blimey. And that's on the surface. That's to keep up speed. That's all like you said when we started. I'd sooner we were underwater all the same. That's what a submarine's for. Sub for under, marine for water. Marine for water. Not any of the marines out of the known. Bravo! Come on, Tom. What catch you? Oh, Tom. Tom. I'm stopped. Not like a word with you, T.I. Uh-huh. You remember that little girl in the fake shop, Gladys? Well, what about her? Well, I was thinking, if you won't be needing this ring anymore, perhaps we might be able to do a little deal. And who says I won't be needing that ring anymore? Well, of course you won't be needing it if you... if you... Now, look here, Mike. You never kidded me. I always knew you never liked the idea of marriage, and what's more, neither did the bride. And you didn't have to look far to see the reason, either. What do you mean, you didn't have to look far to see the reason? Why that bloke at the piano? What's a bosom? Mike, you... Why, didn't you see the way that he... Oh, hello, Godson. What did he want? Oh, he was trying to do a deal on my wedding ring for his girl. The less you say about weddings, the better. His girl... His girl? Did he mean the girl of the tobacconist? The conceited son of a... <laughs> You'd have seen the look she gave me when we were leaving. What you're trying to do, Slade? Pinch her? Pinch her. Don't have to pinch her. She knew who the best man was, all right. If he gives you any trouble, you can easily buy him off with a box of cigars. Can't you, Mr. Tubbs? Rescue boys are green 3 0. Drill room, gun action, machine gun up. I don't think we need to worry about them, sir. They seem to think we're a U boat. Well, they're bound to report seeing us, and the German admiral will soon check up or not. Sie haben uns gesehen. Komm mit dir in den Kurs. Haben Sie uns gesichtet? Jawohl. Verflucht! England, England. 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 Chef? Yes, sir. As soon as you're ready, help yourself to that aerial. Two black old man's house, Cook. Two below, Chef. All right, sir. Is this your international law, Herr Kapitän? You should help this airman from the rescue float. You weren't, of course, using your radio to give us away. I'm sorry we uh, shot down the aerial before you could get anything through. You were very quick, Herr Kapitän. Sir, listen. Very quick, Herr Kapitän. Down, everybody. Come on, down you go. I go down. Oh, yes, you do. Come on. Away. Oh. All right, take the prisoners for him and fix him up some dry gear. Right, I said, come on, you two. Come on, you. Up here, sir. Well. Down here, sir. What's the jury, sir? Didn't have time to see. Shot cues. Probably one of our blue cream boys. Well below now. Keep her at 90. 90 feet, sir. Now, this will do for you. Sheffield Wednesday. And these will keep them quiet. And use this option if they give any trouble. Well, what have you got for him? Oh, make a brownie of you. You got something nutty for this little lad? What about this? Yeah. 
I bet this grub's cold. Yeah, I thought so. Wilson! What do you want, Swain? Uh, oh, I want another word with you. About that girl, you know, love to Miss Harcourt wouldn't look right across a man's chest. Uh -huh. Do you remember you suggested I should show her this? Yeah. Well, that's just what I'm going to do, and it's not going to read the same. Now, suppose you get your tattooing outfit out and change it. Oh, is that what you want? Mm, I'll pay you for it. Yeah, but you can't expect anybody to water Nelly into uh, uh, Arabella. Arabella? So that's her name? What, the girl in the fag shop? But I thought... Yeah, yes, that, that's the one, Mike. That's right, you know, Arabella. It's going to cost you something, no two-bob a letter, Arabella's a long name. A-R-A-B... All right, all right, all right. All right. The missionary's taught me to spell. You can use some of these, look. Change the Y to an A, the end to a B, and put A-R-A in front. Oh, yeah, but if it wants some twiddly bits around the design. I'll give you a quid for it. A quid? A quid. Done. Yeah, I figure that's just about how much your love for him was worth. Now, you can start to work on it as soon as the change ever comes. Yeah. Get some more sausages and make them up this time. Quite a piece of secret when I know. It is a battleship which you go after. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. Get this inside of you. And I'll tell you all to which it is. It is a Brandenburg. Brandenburg? That's a kind of cheese, isn't it? Was that then? This Brandenburg resort of cases. Cases? There's no one cases. Don't get that in English mark nicht tonight. We're down just that. <laughs> Slowport. Stop starboard. Slowport. Stop starboard, sir. Well, we're up to time anyway. Yeah, it's a nasty batch coming, sir. Group down. Watch your depth. What's about us? What was that scraping? A passing under minefield. That'll be a cable. What's up there? The cable for Mina. Minen? The real fun will start when we meet the underwater barrage. Was sagt ihr schon wieder? Ach, als Maul, der macht nur Spaß. Ja, glaube ich nicht. Wir müssen dem Kapitän sagen, dass sie die Brandenburg gesichtet haben. Nichts wird gesagt. Warum denn nicht? Natürlich, damit umgekehrt Wollt wird... Wollt ihr endlich das Maul halten? Wir haben nur zu sagen, dass wir die Brandenburg gestern bei Cuxhaven gesichtet haben und dann wird... Schon wieder! Ich gehe zum Kapitän! Ich muss zum Kapitän! Lass mich los! Ich gehe zum Kapitän! Wieder rufen Sie Kapitän! Wieder rufen Sie den Kapitän! Was ist denn mit ihm? Ich habe ihn nervös. Ich habe ihn nervös. Mike, look after these birds, will you? Nein, ich bin sehr leicht. Ich habe ihn nervös. Ich habe ihn nervös. Ah, schau, was du worrying about. Die sind deine eigenen Füße, sind sie nicht? Captain, Sir. Ja, was ist es? Report an die Prisoner, Sir. They said this on the Brandenburg today before they were shut down. It was then passing Cookshaven, sir. How'd you know that? One of them got scared. They wanted to tell you this so that we'd turn back. Oh, I see. They wanted to turn back, did they? Mm, they're right. She was passing Cookshaven. She'll be in the Kiel Canal by now. By the time we get anywhere near it, she'll be thrown into the Baltic. That's exactly what those jellies wanted to believe. That's why they told Hobson that. They didn't tell me anything, sir. I didn't let on a new German. Ich werde Ihnen sagen, Herr Kapitän, dass wir die Brandenburg heute früh bei Cuxhaven gesichtet haben. Die Brandenburg bei Cuxhaven heute früh. Sie muss schon nicht bei Kiel sein. Well, I told you, sir. We saw the Brandenburg near Cuxhaven early this morning. Said she should be near Kiel by now. Du feiger Hund. Well, 
We've missed the Brandenburg. She's probably well inside the Kiel Canal by now. Looks like the end of a trip, sir. Hmm? Yeah. No, it isn't. We're going after her. We're going into the Baltic. It's a hell of a trip. Smack through the net. The speed we'll have to chance every hour we can on the surface. What you say, can do? Yes, yes sir. sir. Right. Again, my boy. Come on. <laughs> <You don't get. laughs> so, what are you steering? Make it a one five. Can't you be more careful? It's the rolling swain. You can't blame me for the weather. Yeah, but you haven't finished one letter yet. Well, it's blotting the old ones out that takes the time. The daft things men do for women. Steady, you twerp. No, I shall get cross with him one of these days. Up, spirits. I can do with a tot after this torture. Oh, I didn't know it was as late as that. Mm. Must be the pleasure of doing you, Swain. Oxford? Oh, just a little brooch. I thought I might use it as bait on my next leave. I see a nice piece of work for a nice piece of work, eh? <laughs> oh, that's it, now. Did your boy like that model you made for him, Hobson? I didn't give it to him, sir. I lost it. Oh, hard luck. That's a lot, sir. All right. I've got plenty more of this stuff, Hobson, if you want to make another. Something better to do with my time than make geek goes. Who watch? It's all routine. Wish I was in the army. And it's raining like stink. Uh, low visibility still hurting. Good. Getting the big stuff soon. Keep your eyes clean. Bridge! Permission to ditch gas, sir! Okay, you can do all right, chum. Okay. How is he, Stu? Pretty bad. Poor little bastard. Oh, no wonder Butcher caught him a bit of a once, didn't he? All right, Stuart. How is he? I'm afraid he's worse, sir. Poor little bastard. Afraid he's for it. Yes, looks like it. Tell me, Tog, um, how's the tattooing going? Oh, all right. Uh-huh. Uh, Arabella's a long name, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> a bit longer than Gladys. Uh-huh. Uh, Tog, um, you know, uh, the other day you were saying something about uh, Ethel being interested in that piano fella. Oh, yes. I expect she just wanted a bit of music, Mike, that's all. Do you think so? Yes, of course, that's all it is. Together. Stop both. We'll stand together, sir. Pull us down together. How's it now? Still foul, sir. Look down, slide. Well, what next? 
Wait and see, my boy. Pull the stern together. Motor going for the Pull ahead together. Pull ahead together, sir. What's the betting we get through next time? You know me, I don't even bet on certainties. Pull our head together, then! Hot motor going full ahead. going full ahead. Uh, I'll bet you far off we don't. You're on. Just gonna do it when that ruddy telegraph flashed. That's right, him and the skipper's got a work in agreement. Anyway, Spud, five, Bob. Chalk it up. Blue Bob. Pull ahead together. Pull ahead together, son. Down, sir, bird. Sir, sir. Among the rough stuff, all right now, sir. Yeah, it'll be fine till we get to the Baltic. We're gonna need all our luck for the next couple of hours. Keep your fingers crossed, Dusty. Aye, aye, sir. Sign of a ship, sir. What kind of a Gigo is that, Hobson? Another Sea Tiger? No, it's the Brandenburg. Probably all we shall ever see of it. Can I dive some? You know, I lift your bloody pipe at the lower you don't, but I ain't done nothing about your finishing plates. No 
a sign of it now. There it is. Wish we had more light. Can't see a thing of the ship herself. Soon be full daylight now, sir. Hmm. Still see a light flashing. Seems to be moving. Ship's head. Oh, eight oh, sir. Starboard fifteen. Starboard fifteen, sir. Fifteen a starboard on, sir. No more moors. If she holds her course, we ought to be closing on her. Down, telescope. Stop, starboard. Pull ahead, forward. Stop, starboard. Pull ahead, forward. Yeah, I'll bet it's a real thing this time. Ah, it is because the captain sees a wee flash in their eyes and you think it's a Brandenburg. And I'm not betting with you, Spot, so don't ask me. Stop, starboard, slow forward. Destroyer, maybe a screen. You getting anything? No, sir. Wait a minute. Picking her up now. Two of them. Up, there, let's go. Heading green, 5-0. Tubes. Four ends, blow up all tubes. Blow up all tubes, sir? Blow up all tubes. All tubes? Blind O'Reilly, it must be the old brandy balls herself. Not too much rise, Coxon, for the love of Mike. Cut down the light. Right. Start the attack. Start the plot. Keep the confounded boat level, number one. She's bouncing about like a pea in a blasted drum. Enemy bearing. Read it, somebody. Green four O's. Enemy bearing, green four O. I'm seven degrees on her port bow. Seven degrees in No, eight. Bar. No. Twelve. No. I can't these ruddy hands steer straight when I'm looking at them. Make it eight degrees on the bow. Range. Damn it all, number one. Can't you keep the basket level for five seconds? Down telescope. Let me know when you have some sort of a trim, Mr. Brace. That's better, Coxon. Call the range 7,000 yards. Can't see much more than mast and funnels yet. Keep her up now. Bit of a rise, Coxon. Don't wring our neck off. Pump on, eh? Better come up, Coxon. Stop the pump. I said stop the bloody pump. Will you keep awake? Steady at 35 feet, sir. Let's see. Ah. Bearing. Green six also. Awesome. Eleven degrees on her port bow. Eleven degrees on port bow. Any miss course two six zero, oh, sir. Range. Now. Seventeen minutes in high power. 
Out of port. Out of port, sir. Full speed starboard. Full speed starboard, sir. Took the destroyer stick to their course. You getting anything, Hobson? Not now, sir. Looks as if we've got it on a plate. Stand by all tubes, depth settings. Stand by all tubes, Use depth settings. Ports, sir, swinging to port. Stand by all tubes, depth settings. Now don't forget what I told you, number two. Go through the drill, same as if we were in Blockhouse Creek. And for the love of Mike, keep your eyes on that reservoir pressure. Okay, Chief. Blinking DSM for him if we make a hit. And well, he knows it. <laughs> Perhaps I'll make him mayor. <laughs> Stand by all tubes. Now we're off. What's up, mate? How's she go? You keep a ready face out of this and leave it to me in the cotton. He gives you orders and I get him there, see? Slow boat. Steer over on out. Oh, oh, sir. Adam van Baren, green 6-0, doing 2-7-0 revolutions. Steady on her, Wado, sir. There she is. One lovely battleship. Bearing? Green 6-0, sir. Range? 23 minutes. 15 degrees on the port bow. 50 feet, number one. 50 feet, sir. Last range, 3,000, sir. Gives us a speed of roughly 30 knots. 30, a bit much. Make it, uh, 25. Right. Bring the boat up. Tear away attack periscope. Group down. Group down, sir. Hydrophone bearing. Bearing green five nine, sir. Bearing on. Green six five, sir. Thirty degrees on the bow. Destroyer. Port wing of screen, fifteen hundred yards. Next car is going to be troublesome. Stand by to take it on low number one, which will be bloody close. 800 yards off track, sir. Still on the same course. Right. Well. Looks faster than 25. Give her 28 for luck. 28, sir. Control room. All tubes ready. Captain, sir. All tubes ready. We're good. Watch your steering and keep her down for the love of Mike. Dive home, Coxon. Open bow buoyancy. Up. Vector angle 17 degrees, sir. 17 degrees. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Fire! 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 Ah! Look on. Where you going? Oh. Five gone. Six gone. All torpedoes fired, sir. All six running, sir. Take her down, number one. Cross the word, stand by for depth charges. Torpedoes! Diaphone! Go out! Should have our first strike in a few seconds, sir. Right down, number one. Stop both. Stop both, sir. Steering and planes in hand. Steering and planes in hand, sir. Pass the word, all hands. Keep quiet in the boat. Keep quiet in the boat. Damn to know if we hit her. What do you think, Hobson? I wouldn't swear to it, sir. It's hard to tell with these depth charges. What's all the fuss about, mate? Don't thou shake us up those bangs. You shut your mug and mind your ruddy pump. All right, sir, all right. Only if I've got a die, I want to know how it happened. Matter of interest. Listen all around carefully. Something I'll read for you, sir. Coming this way. Increasing speed. Coming into attack. Steady bearing. Damn. Stand by for versus B, number one. Passing very close, sir. Passing overhead now. Pump 
on engine room bilges. Lamp on engine room bilges. Secondary lighting. Hold her up, coxswain. Can I use speed, sir? We're dropping by the stern. Half a head together. Half a head together, sir. Captain, sir, we've got a nasty leak in the water room and we can't get a suction on the pump. Right, get a bucket team going, coxswain. Ah, sir, give us those buckets, pan fry. Take out the knock in. Okay, Get all the buckets you can find and bring them on. You need more plugs. Fix your more plugs. Come on, boys! Wait around with these! Don't forget to die! Chuck, 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 Du Hans, glaube der Fritz stirbt. Na wenn schon. Du brutaler Kerl, sagst dem mal. Hier. Ja, ah, what's the matter with you now? May not interest you, mister, but I think the patient is dying. Oh, uh, you take my place then. Go on, come in there. Now don't you be worried by them bang. There never was anybody... I'm afraid he's finished, Diane. He's dead. I'll report to the captain. Okay. Soon fill the bilges at this rate. Don't worry, chum. We got four teetotalers drinking them up the other end. Go on. Getting nearer now. Getting faster. Speed increasing. Right overhead now. Captain, sir. Uh, Captain, report the death of German prisoner Fritz, sir. Oh. Coming up, number one. Still beginning to rise, sir. Good. What did you say, T.I.? German prisoner dead, sir. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll pick that up later. Keep working on that foreign pump, sir. What a drop, sir. If we keep this bucket drill up for another hour, we'll have broke the back of it. That's the stuff you give him. Keep him at it. Aye, aye, sir. Coming into attack again. Increasing. Hope he makes a muck of it. What about all our sweets, Coxon? Beg your pardon, sir? Sweets. Sweets, I'll send for them, sir. Lofty. Yes, sweet. Go far and open up the magazine. Next to the star shell ammo, you'll find a tin mark white lead. They're suckers. Bring them in. Right, sweet. It's the after fuel group, sir. That last package done it in. Barely 500 gallons left, and we're still losing it. Hmm. Now, apart from losing the oil, we must be leaving a trail of it on the surface. Destroyer coming into attack, sir. So it's only a question of time. As I was saying, it's only a question of time before they hit the bullseye. You know, until these jellies think we're a goner, they're going to keep at it. Talking of jerrys, I wonder. Coxman. Come oh, well, hurry up, we haven't got all day. Talk about bundles for Britain. That's not funny. Here, what are you taking that up for? That won't float. Oh, we'll be washing. You put those papers in his pocket? Yes, and I put in that old stopwatch, too. Okay. Was machen Sie mit dem? That's all right, cop, don't worry. Leave it to me. I'll manage up one if I for you, sir. Fine. Better warn everybody we're taking a big angle on. Aye, aye, sir. Take over another one. I'm going for it in a minute. Right. Set. Yes, sir. What is number one tube, sir? My navigator's coat and cap, coxswain's underclothes and my trousers, sir. You better fix another tube full of water. I've got a really good splash. Aye, sir. Wait for the order. Hang on like grim death. Aye, sir.
Pass the letter to all compartments. Watch out for taking steep angle. Pay attention there from the captain. Look out for standing on your ruddy heads. Stand by. Fire, blow out oil. Fire one. Number one tube fired, sir. Open bow boils in. Flood A, flood B, flood tubes. Well, that's what I call a nice, quick funeral. Head together. I'll head together, sir. 10, 12, 15. Lovely. Stones below the water now, sir. Stop blowing off. Flood off the tanks. Let it go down. example of the British Admiralty's foolhardiness is witnessed by the fate of the submarine Sea Tiger. This unfortunate vessel entered the Baltic to make a senseless attack on an unarmed fishing smack. It may interest the wives of the crew of the Sea Tiger to know that she is now lying a total wreck. You ought to be ashamed of yourself listening to that pack of lies. I hope you're right, Mrs. No, miss, there's no news from the Admiralty. Thanks. Well, cheers, Well, have a drink, Scratch? No, thanks. Oh, come on, it'll make your beard curly. <laughs> Hobson, what's the longest time you've ever been down? You can last the night if you put a sock in that jaw of yours and save oxygen. Jack. Hmm? What's that? It's a fly. It's known as the whirling dun. In my part of the world, the bite is fairly fight for it. I believe in a cod's head, on a big hook. Yank him in. No arguments. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Stand by for the captain. The captain speaking. Well, there's no need for me to explain the situation to you. You all know it. I intended searching for a tanker and hijacking the oil. But we haven't even got enough fuel left for that. We are down to our last gallons, and we've only enough food to last until tomorrow. In fact, just about one decent meal for the T.I. Now I've gone into the matter very carefully, and what I propose to do is this. About 20 miles to the northwest is the Danish island of Hago. I shall bring the boat close in during the night, give every man a chance of getting ashore, and then blow her up. I'm sorry it's come to this, but I'm afraid there's no alternative. Thank you for your loyalty and help. That's all. Right, come for it, number one, will you? Figure something out. 
You know what this means? Internment for the rest of the ruddy war. Perhaps, perhaps a prison camp in Germany. Go on, cheer us up. Why don't you make it a concentration camp? What's up, Hobson? Where do you think you're going to? What's the biting thing you might like to know? Well, actually, it's just a question of these ties. Mm, come in. Excuse me, sir. May I have a word with you? Hmm? Hey, what is it, Hobson? Uh, just a minute, pilot. It's about what you've just been telling us, sir. If I remember rightly, there's a little port called Freihafen on the island of Hegel. I called there once in a Baltic run just before the war. Well? Well, what I was thinking, sir, it's bound to be pretty busy there these days, and there's almost certain to be oil somewhere about. Well, if I could slip ashore tonight, I could sneak into Freihafen and find out the lay of the land. And if there's any oil handy, I would flush you a signal. You could bring in the boat and we could hijack the juice. Even if we didn't get away with it, we couldn't be any worse off. I wonder. I could use one of those Jerry's uniforms. I could get by anything in that. You thought it all out, didn't you, Hobson? Mm -hmm. Supposing you were stopped, what sort of story could you tell? Well, my plane might have crashed in the sea, there was my mates killed, and I could have got ashore in the dinghy. Why not? I don't have to remind you that if you're caught in a German uniform, it won't just be a question of being taken prisoner. You know that, don't you, Hobson? There's nobody to shed any tears over me, sir. Mm, it's not going to be easy, getting a, into a strange harbour at night. We'll take a crack at it. All right, Hobson. Ask the coxswain to the prisoner's uniforms, pick one out and be ready by dark. I wish I could come with you. Your German might not stand the strain, sir. No. Uh, maybe you're right. All right, Hobson. Oh, uh... Thank you, Hobson. Monkey Orange King. Monkey Orange King. James Monkey Yorker. James Monkey Yorker. Sugar Charlie. Sugar Charlie. That's a lot. Keep a sharp with that, number one. I'm going out to help with Ted. Aye, sir. Bitte der Ausweis von Herrn Hauptmann. Bitte schön, wenn der Herr Hauptmann mitkommen wollen. Ja, was ist denn los? Immer mit. Sag, Herr Hauptmann. Guten Abend, Herr Febo. Zum Befehl, Herr Febo. Ausweis. Ich bin abgeschossen worden. Located loaded oil tanker, port end of the pier, 
Depth eight fathoms everywhere. Good, he's remembered everything. That means we can go slap in at periscope depth. Come on, Dolly. Danke, Hauptmann. Auftreten. Wachtposten 3. Jawohl, Herr Major. Jawohl. Ein Signal, Herr Major. Ein, ein Lichtzeichen. Das ist ganz ausgeschlossen, Herr Major. Ich habe meine Taschenlampe hier auf dem, auf dem Tisch. Ja. Nein, nein. Nein, die Wache hat gar nichts bemerkt. Nur ein, ein Hauptmann der Luftwaffe. Ja. Ja, er ist eben angekommen. Ja. Jawohl, Herr Major. Ich ich werde mich persönlich vergewissern. Jawohl, sofort. Sehen der Herr Hauptmann den Schuppen dort drüben? Ja. Also wenn der Herr Hauptmann rechts in die Straße einlegen und den Schiff... Lord, we left it pretty late. Stop at 20 easing to 15. Sure and keep the jet in there, Panzer. Come on, the captain. Sammy, come on. Oh, Captain Lemire, so what shall I do with them? Keep them quiet. Here's the captain, sir. You speak English? I do. This is the British Navy. We want oil and stores, and we've no time to argue about it. There will be no argument. The British Navy is always welcome in Denmark. Now you're talking. Take what you want, Lieutenant. My men will help you. That's all. Hands. Clark, get these pipelines. Yep, as quick as possible. That's one of them. Wait a minute, sir. He's firing in short. Might be Hobson. Yeah, that's Hobson, all right, sir. I'll help dress him up. Yes, I believe you're right. That's the boy. Good, Good man. Wait right there.
Have a good time? Fine, sir. About time some of you blokes turned up. Another one of machine guns. Dusty, tell the captain it's coming through, all right? Right, Chief. Things are getting hot. Gordon, take three men and back the other party up. Hang on till you get one blast from the whistle and beat it back here, help the leather. Right, sir. If you can't hold them, I'll tell Johnson to give you one green very light. Might have to get clear, sir. Come on, Adam, let's go. in trouble soon, sir. That warehouse is full of oil. The floor's covered with it. We won't off cop it if that lot goes up. All right, Hubble. Shall I take over for you? No cause for panic. Control room. Find out how we're going now. Tell him we want a lot more yet. Never mind, Dad. Ask him what his gauges are showing. Ronnie, we're out of ammo. How much have you got? Just about enough for a couple of bursts, sir. Better say them. Yes. Nothing else for it, I suppose. 1,200 gallons. All right, we'll risk it. Now, that's just his Scots caution. Tell him we're going to take a short cut. Get your party going. Aye. Get going, T.I. Tiger, 
returning to base. Get that off to CNC, repeat FOS. I ask you Probably surprised at seeing us. What are they saying? Congratulations on thinking. What? Well, I'll be bl the Brandenburg, sir. Blimey! Blimey! Perum? Perum's up. We sunk the Brandenburg. We got the Brandenburg. We got the Brandenburg. Blimey! We we got the Brandenburg. We got the Brandenburg, sir. What? We got the Brandenburg. We got the old Brandenburg. Grand job, Taylor. Thank you, sir. A bit better than my fishing smacks. You really must have used Olmore's almanac. <laughs> well, actually, it's all done by mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just pushing off, so you'll have to wait for that double I promised you. Goodbye, sir. Good luck, Humphreys. Thanks, sir. Good luck, David. Thank you. A nice work, friend. Well done, well done. Mike. Mike. It's lovely to have you back. Safe. Ethel, me darling. Hello, Arabella. 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 There was the Gladys. Jack, isn't this wonderful? Oh, yes, I oh, yes, say it is. Well, so long, Dickie. You must show Gladys your new tattoo sometime. Gladys? You heard. See her coming in? Yes, Daddy. You didn't know she brought a battleship with her, though, did you? No, Daddy. Look what I've got for you here. Ooh, Daddy. Hello, Jim. Hello, Alice. Mummy, Mummy. Look what Daddy brought me, a battleship. Yes. I'll be getting home. Uh. Well, enjoy your leave. This time, I suppose you will be seeing your aunt. Yes, all of them, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. Gordon. Yes, sir. You're going to the wardrobe? Yes, sir. Get me Grosvenor 2777, will you? Yes, sir. There's the sorceress just going through the booth. One comes in, another goes out. Just like running a ruddy bus service.